Hello and welcome back. In this section 3 of SAP Cloud Platform Professional Development, we are going to work with setting up our development environment. Now this development environment is set up using Eclipse. We are going to understand how to create a project with Maven and also we are going to see how the dependency exists in pom.xml file. Now we will also see how to add dependency to pom.xml file for the required module which you need. Our focus here is to create Spring Boot application. We are going to see Maven repository, how to find our dependency and add it to pom.xml file. Then we are also going to see how we can skip those steps by using a Spring Starter project and how if we use a Spring Starter project, the dependency already are added. We will see how to build our simple application using Maven and how this build can be deployed to Cloud Foundry. Once we have done the step manually, then we are going to go for setting up our CI CD pipeline. We will first understand what is the difference between CI, which is continuous integration, continuous delivery, and continuous deployment. What is the difference between those? Then we will go for setting up our CI pipeline using Jenkins. We are going to create the CI server in Google Cloud Platform. We will install Jenkins. We will install Git Maven plugin in the Jenkins. Then we will install Cloud Foundry plugin in Jenkins. Once everything is done, we will try to automate the build process. So as soon as developers are done with certain feature and they push their code to GitHub, then the automation will start and automatically a new build file will be deployed to Cloud Foundry. Now, how all those steps are done with details we have covered in this section. I hope this section gives you a firm foundation in understanding how the DevOps sides of the equation of setting up of development environment is laid out. Now this section is quite important before we actually go and work with side-by-side -side application with Spring Boot or using a microservice architecture to create this side-by-side -side application. So let's catch up in this section where we are going to see how to set up development environment, learn about Spring Boot application structure, learn how the pom.xml works internally, how those dependencies are managed, learn difference between CI, CD and set up our automated CI with Jenkins. My name is Ajanai and I'm going to see you in this course.